Hello guys. So if you're trying to install a new plugin in your website and when you click on install now, you see this error installation failed could not copy file. Or if you want to update an existing plugin on your website, you click on update now. And you see this issue, update failed could not create directory. So if this happening on your website, what do you need to check first? Go to tools and then click on site health. So in site health info, just scroll the page and then check here file permissions. You can see here everything is writable. If it is not writable here, you need to change the permission from cPanel for the file directories. But in most of the cases, this will not be the issue because you can see here everything is writable on my website. So there is no problem here. If in your case everything is writable, then everything is fine in terms of file permission. You do not need to do anything with file permission. So now how you can solve this issue of could not copy file or installation failed on new plugins or updating old plugins. So you need to log into cPanel or any panel provided by your hosting provider. And then you will always find this option when you scroll the page disk usage. You can monitor every available space with the disk usage feature. I have multiple websites on this hosting account and also the different kind of services used by hosting. So on the right side you can see how much they are used. So for example you can see it is almost full. And then if I scroll the page you can see this website is also taking almost full space. In theory this hosting provides unlimited space but it is not always unlimited you can see there is a quota here I am already using more than 80% of space but here you can see there is one particular website which is already using 100% quota so what you can do you can just click here and then you will log in inside the file manager which is using the most of the space and try to find the file which are not necessary and you can delete it may can be old backup files or big image files on your website you can see here this file wcontent.zip file it is almost 3 GB and it is a file I used to restore this website so I do not need this file. So what I will do, so I will select this file, right click and then delete. And I am going to skip the trash and permanent delete the files and then click on confirm. In the same way you can see here, there will be content back. This folder is not used so I can also delete this folder. Guys make sure the file is not required before deleting them. If you are not sure just download them first on your computer and then delete them. Now I go back on my website here, I try to install a new plugin, if I click on install now, you can see the plugin is installed successfully. Or if I go to install plugins and then I try to update this plugin now, I click update now and you can see plugin successfully installed. I hope you get some value out of it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate that and that really boosts my morale to create such amazing videos which make things simpler for you guys. And don't forget to share this video, sharing is caring and if you want to know how to get rank 1 on Google search engine, Check out this video on screen.